Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Advice to Think Twice. My name is Monica and I'm here with your general tarot forecast for the month of August 2016. And this is for Cancer, Sun, Moon and Rising. Thank you very much for being here with me. As always, keep in mind, these are just general readings and so they're not going to apply to everybody watching. Um, for a private reading, you can follow the link in the description box below. And for the time being, just take away the messages that do make sense to you in this general reading. So let's just have a look, Cancer. And you can also watch your moon and rising sign readings um, for additional messages. Sometimes um, they resonate more with you than your sun sign reading. Um, so I don't know, just have a look. Um, okay, so Cancer. It looks like a really, really awesome month. Um, and I'm really excited for you guys. You're gonna have to let me know how it goes. Um, you have three major arcana cards that tells me um, I feel a lot of positive events happening, a lot of positive changes happening, um, definitely healing, definitely new beginnings. Um, so let's just get started. Your overall energy for the month, for the entire month, is the Sun card. And the Sun card is one of the most optimistic cards in the entire deck. The Sun card talks about success, celebration, promotion. Um, any, other, any other form of, of advancement at work. This is recognition, this is appreciation, this is you being in the spotlight, um, things being done your way, your opinion counting more than ever right now. Um, independence, okay, this is also taking time off, holiday, doing things that uh, relax you, doing fun things, uh, spending time in the sun, traveling to someplace sunny or tropical as well. Um, and the sun is basically encouraging you to move forward with things that you've wanted to do, to step outside your comfort zone, okay, to reach new, hi new heights, new horizons this month because you will be successful with those experiences. If you um, are looking for a job, I feel like this is going to be a good month for you. Just keep going and do things your way. Um, if you negotiate with anyone or um, ask for things or ask for whatever it is that you need, I feel like you will be successful. You will feel very confident, very charismatic and really able to get your way a lot easier okay, than usual because people will pay extra attention to what you're saying and doing at this time. And it is a major arcana card so it does feel like blessings from the universe come your way from, for all your hard work that you've been doing until now. So this is just talking about, for the most of, uh, for the most part, the month of August is going to be a carefree month, uh, where things go your way, where you receive success, recognition, appreciation, um, a lot of positivity, okay, within and surrounding you. And it could also be, like I say, traveling, taking a holiday, um, and perhaps children involved um, for some of you this month. In the first week of the month, we do have the star card. So the star card is beautiful. The star card talks about um, wishes coming true, dreams coming true. And again, it's things that you are very passionate about. It's things that you've been dreaming about for a long time. I feel like that's exactly what's coming true for you right now. Um, for some of you, like I say, this is going to be a new job. For others, this will be promotion in your current situation. This would, will be um, advancement to a, a position of power, a position of authority, independence. This is also healing happening. Your health, your vitality comes back to you, okay? Is restored. Your energy levels are restored. Um, you feel inspired. You feel very active. You feel like you can take on the world pretty much. For some of you, this is definitely travel, okay, with the star card and the sun card. Um, definitely travel, potentially um, overseas. Um, but it will definitely kind of balance you out and also give you new inspiration and new ideas, new ways of seeing the world. For some of you, um, you may be dealing with an Aquarius person around the first week of the month. Um, and this person may be uh, someone helping you, someone uh, granting you your wishes. Or it could be someone who gets you very excited about life again, so maybe a romantic interest. And also, um, fire signs, I feel, surrounding you at this time. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. 
But the star card is, like I say, a dream coming true. So uh, whatever you've been dreaming of and whatever you've been working towards for a while now, um, whether it is job related or about relationships, home and family, um, general health and well-being, personal projects, whatever the case may be for you, I feel like in the first week of the month, you're definitely seeing that come to, to pass, come to fruition. So I would definitely say enjoy it. Make sure that you take time to enjoy whatever dreams are coming true for you in the first week, okay? Um, and just, just enjoy it. Allow it to recharge your batteries. Allow it to give you new ideas, to give you new inspiration. For uh, the second week of the month, we have the Knight of Coins. And the Knight of Coins talks about progress, action, change, movement forward, um, and things that give you a sense of security and stability. So for, for a lot of you, this will be your finances, um, job related, career related, um, personal business related, um, or it could be your relationships or your health and well-being for others of you. Whatever gives you a sense of security and stability um, is what is seeing a lot of change and progress um, around the second week. For some of you, this could be relocation, okay? You could be moving to a new place. And this is something that has been trying to happen for a while or you've been working on this for a very long time. And it's been a slow but steady um, progress type of situation. Now it's really happening. It's coming full circle. You are relocating, you are traveling, you are moving to a new place. For others, like I say, this is moving forward. I do feel like it's moving forward in something that you are very passionate about, that you're very, um, that you've really dedicated a lot of time, energy, effort, resources to. And this could be your personal business for some of you, or just personal projects. Um, this could be your health and well being for some of you. And I feel like you're seeing progress finally. I feel like finally you're seeing progress in that. Like I say, this has been a very slow ride, but you're definitely seeing, um, starting to see results and you're definitely building momentum right now. For some of you, this is your finances increasing. For others, this is getting a better job or being more respected at work, more appreciated at work. For others, I feel like this is investing in your home at this time, or like I say, investing in your um, your, appearance, your appearance, your health and well-being, whatever it is that you identify with, whatever it is that makes you who you are. This could also be an earth sign approaching you around the second week of the month, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. They could be offering to work with you. They could be offering you um, a promotion or an advancement, a position that gives you more uh, benefits and more independence or they could be offering to join your business to work with you in your business or this person is offering you um, you know they have romantic intentions so they're asking you out or they're asking to get to know you better or this could also be gifts receiving gifts re receiving appreciation receiving finances um, tokens small gestures, small or big gestures um, that show people's appreciation for you or of you. And definitely travel around the second week, um, definitely possible. And I feel you could be hiking or walking or something that is not happening at the speed of light, definitely. You could be spending time in nature, you could be going camping or tenting or anything like that, going into the woods. And just taking your time with it, just enjoying this. For the third week, we have the Palace of Swords. The Palace of Swords stands for a place where our ideas come from or a place of inspiration, um, a place of observing, learning, gaining knowledge, receiving information. I feel like for some of you... Um, this, is, this feels like some sort of retreat where you learn a lot of information, you gain a lot of knowledge, you um, gain a new understanding of things. 
I feel like this is you stepping outside of your usual uh, familiar environment. A lot of interaction, I feel meeting a lot of new people, having a lot of different conversations, interesting conversations that I feel add to your ideas, to your creativity. Um, the Palace of Swords could also be a place where, like I say, you learn something new. So maybe you're joining a course, maybe you are uh, focusing on your education at this time. Um, although it feels more like research into something you're passionate about, feeling feels like um, research into your own ideas, your own projects, uh, your uh, business perhaps, or whatever it is that you're most focused on at this time in your life. The Palace of Swords is a place where you go to learn, where you go to study, where you go to research. Um, this could also be some sort of retreat that you go on um, and there's a lot of meditation happening perhaps or there's a, just a lot of interaction with other people where everyone shares ideas or um, a, a lot of brainstorming is happening um, and so that gives you a lot of new useful ideas, inspiration around the third week. This is also I feel visiting new places, going to places you've never gone before uh, and that opens up a whole new world for you around the third week. And it's also a lot of communication, a lot of going back and forth, a lot of uh, people entering your life at this time. I feel like you're looking very good. You're a very charismatic, confident, beautiful, very attractive. Um, so I feel like a lot of expansion, development, changes happening in your social circles or professional circles even. This could be some sort of convention as well whatever the case may be for you, it's a place where um, you go and learn information, you go and gain knowledge, exchange ideas, uh, receive inspiration, gain a new perspective. And it's just someplace different, someplace you haven't been before. In the fourth week we have the death card, so another major arcana card. So you start the month and you end the month with major arcana cards and your overall energy is a major arcana card and they're all very positive major arcanas. So that tells me a lot of positivity going to happen for you this month. Okay, definitely. I feel like you're coming into your own. I feel like you're evolving. Um, you're growing. You're expanding. Opening up new worlds for yourself. Now the death card for the fourth week of the month talks about change, transformation. Um, I feel like a shedding of the old to make room for the new. I feel like um, definitely for some of you this is personal growth, spiritual growth, new understandings, new visions of yourself, of the world, of your purpose, of what you're trying to accomplish, of how you're going about things. Um, the death card is things ending that have been trying to end for a while and moving forward into new energy, new beginnings. Um, it's almost like you use everything that happens um, in, in the month and perhaps before, prior to the month of August to reinvent yourself, I feel. The Death card and the Sun card feels like things around you are changing and things are gravitating more towards you right now. It's easier for you to manifest. It's easier for you to get your point across, for people to pay attention to you. I feel like by the end of the month, you're going to be a completely new you. I feel like this talks about meeting, reaching your goals, making your plans a reality, um, and that giving you a new world, a new perspective. The death card is also healing. Whatever health issues you've been dealing with until now, or whatever targets you may have set for yourself in terms of your fitness, your um, diet or anything like that, I feel like you're meeting those goals and you're moving to the next level. A lot of new beginnings happening for you towards the end of the month. I feel a lot of new people coming in, a lot of new ideas, a lot of inspiration coming to you, a lot of new plans, new goals you set for yourself. Changing uh, your environment, maybe changing your appearance, maybe working on your wardrobe. Um, happening okay for a lot of you towards the end of the month 
And it could also be some sort of pregnancy announcement as well because the death card talks about ending a way of life so that a new way of life can begin. And for some of you with the sun card especially, I do feel like children are involved. Because it directly affects you, your way of life. For others, I feel like this is you. Um, Get, uh, getting a job towards the end of the month for some of you okay for some of you it happens at the beginning of the month like I say it's a general reading so it will be you know the energies that you're dealing with that will manifest for each and every one of you at different times throughout the month but I do feel like for some of you this talks about new jobs or potentially um, this is when you're starting your own business or this is where you're going after your dream job your vision of what you want to do with your life what your purpose is so it could be that some of you change careers at this time altogether. Or changing locations, okay, where you live or where you work. A lot of change happening definitely towards the end of the month, um, facilitating new beginnings for you um, that are new beginnings with passion, love, success, inspiration, good health, vitality dynamism so awesome your guidance card your color card for the month is tangerine the number is 17 be spontaneous and have fun so 17 is um, an 8 so it's all about your empowerment okay it's all about your strength your courage your vitality your fire your dynamism okay that's what the month is about for you and tangerine is also asking you to have fun okay step outside your comfort zone okay remember with the sun card it's all about you what you want to do what your dreams are what makes you laugh and have fun okay and what recharges your batteries um it's about just having fun with it be spontaneous um, incorporate something new in your life every day I feel like it's gonna help you massively this month something you haven't done before something you haven't read before some place you haven't been before changing you know the route you take to work um, or the place you go to um, exercise or run or uh, what you e what you usually eat and drink maybe looking at how you can uh, incorporate some change in that just be spontaneous okay this is talking about Trusting your inspiration, okay? Just going on a whim. Obviously, you know, be careful with any kind of major life decisions. Um, you don't want to do that on a whim. But that being said, if you feel good about something, if you feel confident about something, if you feel like, you know what, this is the best thing that could happen to me, you go with that inspiration. You go with that gut feeling, okay? This month, definitely. So um, this is going to be a really fantastic month for you guys, okay, a month of change, inspiration, creativity, dynamism, good health, vitality, passion, fun, okay, happening. Um, and so just be spontaneous and go with the flow is what the card is also telling you. Just be spontaneous. Embrace. Whatever happens, have fun with it. Turn it around, make it fun, okay? Let's see what your soul lesson is for the month. You have river with movement. So your soul lesson is um, why are things happening the way they are for you this month? What is it that you, you're supposed to learn? What is it that um, is the lesson you're supposed to learn on a soul level, uh, on a spiritual level? So a river with movement, this is talking about flow. This is talking about allowing for change to happen. This is talking about um, having that inner confidence to say whatever happens, happens. I believe in myself and I believe I'm on the right track. It ties in very well with the energy of the death card in terms of allowing flow to happen, going with the flow, embracing um, synchronicity, embracing new beginnings, new opportunities, um, not trying to be so controlling, okay, or um, just believing, just having faith and going with the flow as opposed to first looking for some sort of confirmation that you know you're heading in the right direction this is about keeping things moving this is about progress this is about making things happen okay and you definitely have the power to do so with the sun card so whatever you do this month keep everything moving keep the flow going and that applies in any area of your life okay if it's about money 
uh, keep the flow going. If you receive money, make sure that you give money as well. Make sure that you share the wealth so that you keep that flow going. Um, keep yourself moving. Okay, this would be a great time for you to start an exercise plan. Um, do things that give you energy, okay, so that it's not just about you giving your energy. It's also about gaining new energy, new inspiration. Um, this is about allowing the old to go away, okay, to be done with so that you can embrace new energy, new ideas. And remember, keeping the flow going in your life. But it's about um, being flexible this month, spontaneous, okay, be like a river, be like water, um, and just keep going no matter what happens. Uh, you are creative enough this month to overcome any sort of obstacle or delay you're dealing with. You can just find a way around it like water does around rocks. Um, and just keep the flow going. Don't allow yourself to be stuck, okay? And allow for changes to happen, like I say. So there you have it, Cancer. That's your month. It looks like a really beautiful month. You're going to have to let me know what you think of the reading and how your month is going. It looks absolutely awesome. So I look forward to your feedback. Thank you again for all your support. Um, and um, a lot of you have asked me about uh, donations. Uh, and if that's something you want to do, I'm very grateful for that. And I've added a link in the description box below. I think it's the second link in the description box. If you feel inclined to do so, I really appreciate it. And I just appreciate the thought of it, the attention, uh, the intention I meant um, for you to do that. Okay. Um, so thank you so, so much once again. I hope you have a fantastic month and I will talk to you mid-month. Take care.